Hi, I'm Libby Jackson and I work at the UK Space Agency where I look after our human exploration programme. Why are we seeing more people travel to space? We're seeing more people travel to space because the way that government space agencies are getting their astronauts into space is changing. Rather than building and operating their own spacecraft, they are asking private companies to build spacecraft which they can buy tickets for. And then those private companies are selling seats to whoever can afford to buy them. When will ordinary people be able to go to space? We're going to see lots more people travel into space in the coming years. The companies like Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin and SpaceX have lists of very rich people waiting to buy tickets to go into space. If you look back at the early days of aeroplane travel, once upon a time there weren't many flights and they were just for the really rich as well. Today we see many more people being able to afford to buy much more reasonably priced aeroplane tickets to travel all around the world. So who knows quite what the future of space travel will bring. Is there a downside to space travel? It takes a lot of money to send people into space and the rockets that blast the astronauts there can put harmful gases into the atmosphere. But we are looking at these things and we're developing greener rockets to be kinder to the environment. The experience that astronauts have looking down at the world with their own eyes, where they can't see borders, where they can see the effects of climate change, that helps educate all of us into the challenges that we have to face to protect our planet. The engineering challenges that we have to solve to make things smaller, to use less power, to get people into space with as little energy and mass as possible, those solutions to the problems get used in things all around the world in all sorts of different ways that help all of us live better, more sustainable and more environmentally friendly lives. What other cool space missions should I look out for? There are loads of exciting space missions coming up. The European Space Agency's Rosalind Franklin rover is blasting off next summer to Mars, where it's going to look for signs of life. The European Space Agency and NASA are joining forces in an interplanetary relay race to get rocks from Mars back to Earth for scientists to get their hands on and study for the first time. There's a fantastic space telescope called the James Webb Space Telescope that is due to launch later this year. And that will look deep out into the solar system, taking images that we've never before seen, looking at planets uh, around stars and seeing what they look like, peering into the deepest, darkest corners of the universe and teaching us more about where we live. Also, later this year, an experiment called MicroAge, which has been built and developed here in the UK with teams at the University of Liverpool in Kaiser Space in Harwell, near Oxford, is going to get to the International Space Station. It's an experiment that's looking at how muscles age and change when they're in space. When humans go into space, their bodies change in a way that is a bit like getting old really quickly. The bones get weaker, the muscles get weaker. And if scientists can understand what's happening to human bodies in space, we learn about what happens to human bodies as they get older on Earth. And that will lead to us all having healthier, more comfortable lives as we get older.